Here's your no bullshit review of Buffalo Trace Bourbon. A lot of people out there have talked about this. It can be difficult to find at times, but if you do find it, you're finding yourself a gem because it's a great price point for an amazingly smooth bourbon. So let me start by saying this can be very difficult to find. If you do find it, there's usually a bottle limit, at least in my liquor stores. There's a bottle limit of two uh, on Buffalo Trace. And like the guys tell me, guys and gals who work at the liquor stores, hey, this comes in kind of like trickles in here and there and everywhere. They don't have like designated dates and times to ship. It just comes in when it comes in. So if you can find it, I definitely say get it because the price point's amazing at around 27 bucks, give or take a few dollars. So now let's take a look at the stats. What are the stats on this Buffalo Trace bourbon? Number one, sweetness. I put it around an eight. It's not amazingly uh, sweet. Its main characteristic to me is smooth and mellow. It's not gonna jump out and grab you. That's why I said, if you have this in your liquor cabinet, if you have one liquor in your liquor cabinet, it's bourbon. Uh, for people who like bourbon when they come over, you can absolutely not go wrong with Buffalo Trace. If you wanna get into bourbon, I would definitely start Buffalo Trace for the price point and the fact that it's super smooth and mellow. There's no major complexity and there's no major harshness or smokiness. It is a really good all around bourbon. As far as floral, I don't really taste anything floral about this. And as far as, like I said, complexity, hmm, I'd probably give it like a four out of 10. Nothing crazy complex going on. Just a great all around bourbon. As far as comparisons for this bourbon, I would definitely say Wild Turkey 101 or a small batch Knob Creek would definitely be two that are you know very comparable, at least in my, you know, drinking of bourbons. I haven't tasted all bourbons around, but uh, I do have probably tasted about 25 different bourbons, 30 bourbons, somewhere around there. And uh, my taste buds say this is very similar to Knob Creek. Again, you're not gonna have identical, but if you've had Knob Creek or Wild Turkey 101, uh, you're, gonna be you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with Buffalo Trace as being very similar. So if you guys have had Buffalo Trace in the past, go ahead and put comments down below and let us know what you think of Buffalo Trace and what you think it tastes like, or at least in the same family. Like I mentioned these two, it's in the same family of you know, taste styles and profiles in my opinion. So if you guys have it, go ahead and put it down below and uh, also put down below like what you pay for it. Like I paid 27 bucks for this, not too bad. And uh, until next time, later.